I'm just going to do a quick video of how to change the shock absorbers on the on a HSV Avalanche. It's the same for an Adventure. With the, this is the air shock type, by the way. Uh, underneath the car, you'll have a 21 mil on the bottom, and on the top, there's five bolts, which is surrounded by a plate on the very top. You access the bolts from underneath the car, so it's quite simple. So jack the car up. Use the um, rear diff. Just to jack it up, just remember how high these things are. They've got a lot of suspension travel, so you might need a block or something to help up your jack. So jack it up, take the wheel off. Um, then undo the bottom bolt. Just undo the bottom bolt, that's a 21 mil. And uh, what you do is get a screwdriver and you leave it in between um, that section there and there's a bit of uh, the chassis or the chassis left there. Um, it does help to jack up the little bit um, where this bolts into. It does help to jack that up to take a little bit of pressure off the shock. Um, so once that's done, that'll just pop out. It'll freak you out a little bit. Just remember this part is part of the shocky. You'll freak out if you think that this just broke off the chassis, which I did a little bit because I didn't know. So I do know now. So this is part of the shock. So it'll just sit sits in a sleeve just through there. So screw it on and leave that off. That'll pop out. Then disconnect the airline, that's normally got a piece of wire around it, so you just cut the wire off and that'll just pop off. On the top you've got the five bolts that sit on the plate, you access them from underneath on your back. Um, it's a pain from the wheel well, but you can try it. Now the angle of these bolts, uh, you need to come on at a funny angle with when you do the, um, with you get your socket, extension sockets and all that. So mine was stupid tight. I mean, they were so ridiculously tight it wasn't funny. I don't know who put them on last time they were changed, but ridiculous. So um, unfortunately I did, I could not get the bolts off. I tried everything, I froze them, I heated them, but they wouldn't come off, so I'll show you what I had to do in a minute. So anyway, so take the, that'll pop out like that. You'll take, there's a bolt that'll come in there, you just pull the bolt off, take the top plate off, change this, part over all this comes off put the new one in and uh, put the sock back up into the plate and then put the uh, washer uh, sorry the rubber washer and then the bolt back on the top the bolt comes in the kit I got the Monroe ones there's the part number there uh, they're about 415 bucks a kit so they are not cheap just remember do not if you're going to not replace these shocks uh, with the air ones you need to replace shocks and springs because the springs are soft and if you just replace the standard shocks you'll have a floppy back end. These were about 50% of the suspension, remember the air shocks, so you need to replace them, okay? So because my bolts were so bloody tight, um, I was forced to um, be a little bit tricky. So. Um, I had to uh, had to cut a hole in the in the top in the little back section there, so um, which I've got a metal plate to put back in there now, so that'll be all fixed and good as new. Okay, um, and then you just put them all back together. So basically, just a quick rundown of sockets equipment you need. You need a big screwdriver. You need a big screwdriver. You need a 21 mil here. 15 mil at the plates up the top and a 17 mil at the top for this bolt on the top okay uh, you need a little bit of wire once that's back on and that's about everything you need i think yep good luck um just remember they're bloody expensive shockies too so don't get it wrong okay bye